Vitamin E, it's one of the most powerful nutrients a person can take. Yet according to the USDA, 93% of Americans do not get enough of it. Research shows that the benefits are numerous. Vitamin E has been shown to protect against cardiovascular disease, certain cancers, neurological diseases, treat various skin disorders, and play a key role in the prevention of cell damage from free radicals. Found in foods such as nuts and grains, vegetables, fruits, and meats, vitamin E contains antioxidant properties that can have significant health benefits to the body. And even though vitamin E sounds like a single vitamin, Many people don't realize that it's actually a family of eight separate but related compounds made up of two major categories, tocopherols and tocotrienols. The difference between these two are that the tocotrienol is a much smaller molecule, smaller head, smaller tail, and the tocopherol, bigger head, bigger tail, and then it's clear from the molecular size. And in so doing, the tocotrienol is able to traverse and move around the cell membrane a lot better to protect a much larger surface area. I've used this analogy before. A tocotrienol, if it catches the bad guys, is more like a state trooper. A tocopherol is like a local policeman. It doesn't move much. It stays in the same place. Both do the same job. One can do it faster. They're always uh, uh, having a prescript uh, called alpha, beta, delta, and gamma tocopherols and the same alpha, beta, delta, and gamma tocotrienol. Studies have revealed that of the eight forms of vitamin E, delta tocotrienol is the most powerful and active compound, followed by gamma tocotrienols. And research was first conducted at University of Wisconsin and then later at University of Texas in the last 10 or 15 years at most. And in those studies, what they found was that not all vitamin E are created equal. Why are they not created equal? They found that delta tocotrienol specifically regulate cholesterol synthesis, the making of cholesterol, followed by gamma. That's the first thing. And when they combine any of these vitamin E, only delta and gamma when combined are synergistic. And another point is that they found that alpha tocopherol, the most common form of vitamin E, does not work. And lastly, when they use alpha tocopherol with the tocotrienol, the alpha tocopherol actually interferes and messed up the function of tocotrienol. And then the second uh, area in research is in cancer. And in the cancer area, uh, the jury is still out, but to date we found that tocotrienol work in four particular cancer, breast, prostate, skin, and pancreas. And there are many proposals saying how tocotrienol work on cancer. Tocotrienol work to cut the vessel growth, essentially to starve the tumor to death. I thought that's a very interesting concept and it's gaining a lot of scientific understanding. And two, unlike all the other vitamin E form, only delta and gamma tocotrienol recruit itself to the tumor, to the cancer site, and in order to kill the cancer. Researchers have recently discovered that the highest concentration of delta and gamma tocotrienol is contained in the annatto fruit found in the Amazon rainforest. The annatto is a rainforest plant, and they cohabit with other rainforest creatures like the rainforest frog. But the interesting thing is the British call this plant the lipstick plant. Reason being, it contains the intense red color carotene. The plant is also phototrophic, which means that it follows the sun from green to red color. And when the pods open, and it does not have any flesh, which means that the intense red carotene, which is very unstable, must have something to protect it. And I asked the question, there must be some powerful antioxidant that protect it. It was there we discovered that that powerful antioxidant is in fact tocotrienol and is free from tocopherol. And better yet, it contains almost entirely delta tocotrienol. The annatto fruit is the only known tocotrienol source that is naturally free of tocopherol, which can interfere with the compound's health benefits. This is extremely important when we're thinking of the cholesterol lowering effect because it will completely inhibit the cholesterol lowering effect of tocotrienol if there's any tocopherol in it. And because of this, I consider tocotrienol as the, uh, as the supplement of choice when any doctor is wishing to, uh, to uh, prescribe a non-prescription medication Scientists are now using annatto plant-based materials to develop nutritional supplements to promote better health. American River Nutrition, based in Hadley, Massachusetts, 
holds numerous patents for discovery, manufacture, and uses of tocotrienol from the Anato fruit plant. Today, the biotech organization manufactures and sells this new natural form of delta and gamma tocotrienol vitamin E. Essentially, tocotrienol promote cholesterol and arterial health. And it would dial down the cholesterol in our body that is in the normal range. And then the more popular statin drug, which is cholesterol-reducing drug, it will shut down indiscriminately and side effects come along with it. As to recommendation, most people take it about 100 milligrams for both the cholesterol and arterial health. And because tocotrienol is an oil and a fat, it is preferable to take this with a meal like dinner so that the tocotrienol is fully emulsified and absorbs better. It is best to take the tocotrienol without the tocopherol because the tocopherol put brakes and roadblocks on the tocotrienol's function. Since taking the nutraceutical, Sterilyn Stafford says she has experienced significant improvements with her diabetes-related complications. The number one thing I noticed first off, just after like the first month, was um, I could start seeing clearly. Like my eyes were, my vision was very blurry. I could not read a magazine. I couldn't like I couldn't read my cell phone. I couldn't you know I couldn't read anything, or I could, I actually had my license taken away from me because. I just I couldn't even see street lights. It's so bad. So when I first started taking product after like two months, I noticed my my vision being clear. And when I talked to my doctor about it, he said that the swelling because I had edema in my eyes as well. That's part of the retinopathy. It had gone down. There was no swelling behind the eye. A few years ago, Ken Johnson suffered from heart disease. But today, he also gives credit to the Inato-based supplement for his improved physical condition. I considered that I am a lucky guy. My metabolism is such that the tocotrienol gets the credit for taking the plaque out of my arteries. I would recommend these fabulous little gel caps for anyone based on my own experience and by observing other people who have been taking it over a period of time because it does exactly what it is supposed to do. Now, the difference is, I become free of plaque. Not everybody becomes free of plaque. There have been people with devastating illnesses, and those illnesses simply were reversed by taking this product. I would recommend this supplement, and I already do, because it's a natural choice. These are chronic diseases you're talking about, and they all have a certain thing in common. They're all based on mitochondrial damage. This is sort of a new term. Mitochondria, the, the uh, powerhouses of each of our cells, have just in the past decade been identified for what they really do. And we find that progressive effect of oxidation, oxidative damage on the mitochondria causes their progressive destruction, and hence aging, and all of the chronic illnesses usually associated with aging. And this is why antioxidants are now really in the forefront of investigation antioxidants such as tocotrienol.